Can y'all hear me? Can y'all see me? I've been having internet connectivity problems. But either way, we're going to push on through. It does look like we're a little delayed. But this is the coin we're going to be working on today. This is a half ounce fine silver Aztec round. And I'm going to be making this into a size seven and a half ring. If you'd like to check out my stuff while you watch me work, there's a little gold chain down here you can tap on. That'll pull up some of my products. I also have a website link on my profile. And if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen while you watch, I sure would appreciate it. All right. So the first thing we've got to do is punch a hole in this coin. So I'm going to get that set up real quick. To do that, we're going to use this auto punch tool. This is really cool. So this thing allows me to punch uh, holes directly into coins right in the middle. That's very important for making rings. So we're going to place that on there. This blue paper towel is just going to protect the coin detail as we punch it through. And if you look at the top part of this, you can see it's cone-shaped. So as we tighten this down, it's going to self-center the inside here. I'm paused live. Well, dang. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do about my internet right now. I'm just going to push on through. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen if you're enjoying the live. And if you'd like to check out my work, my website is on my profile, coinringmaker.com. All right, so we're going to punch this right through here. Move my phone out of the way. Yeah, if it is paused, just exit out and try and come back. Uh, that's the best advice I can give you. Uh, I've just been having some bum internet problems, so that's my bad. But I want to show you guys me making a coin ring, so this is the best I can do for now. We're gonna, we're gonna hammer this through here. Nice and easy. And this center punch is really cool. Let's see if we can get close for you. A really nice Aztec headdress there. And the other side is really nice and symmetrical. It's pretty cool. I like that a bunch. So he's gonna get a center punch as well as a ring. So we're gonna set that aside for later. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like this design. And I've got these in quarter ounce, half ounce, and one ounce. So depending on the size of the band you want or how heavy you want the ring to be, you can get uh, different, different size coin rings, which I think is pretty cool. And there we go. He's going to want this calendar on the outside of the ring. So that's what's going to be facing on the outside. Uh, you can see my prices by tapping the gold chain at the bottom of the screen here. Y'all go ahead and test that out. And just click on it. It'll pull up a bunch of my products and the prices for them. Or you can go to the website linked on my profile. So now we're going to take a deburring tool and clean up the inside edge here because you can see it's kind of sharp, a little jagged from where we punched it out. We're just going to smooth that out with this here real quick. It's a great looking ring. I mean, these are these are definitely one of my favorite ones to work on. It's just chock full of detail. It's very cool, very symmetrical. It's not boring, that's for sure. All right, thank you guys for uh, testing that link. All right, so we're going to go ahead and clean that up. This is kind of the slow, boring part, so if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen while we get through it, I bet y'all can hit 2,000 likes before I finish this part up. We're just going to clean this up real quick. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't followed me yet, go ahead and hit that follow button. I'm trying my best to grow here on TikTok. This is a small one-man business. So if you like my work, you want to support a small handmade ring maker, check out the website, check out the gold link by the chat. That's how you order. And almost every one of my orders is either made into a TikTok or I do it live here on TikTok. So... If you'd like to uh, 
get you something and see how it's done, check out the website, check out the store. It's cool little silver shavings. Thank you guys for the follows. We want to make sure this inside is really nice and smooth. If there's any scratches or nicks or rough areas, once we start folding and shaping this, it'll split. And that's no bueno. No, it's not illegal to do this to U.S. coins. Uh, if you've ever seen a penny smashing machine at an amusement park or a museum, this is very similar legally to that. Uh, what the law describes is uh, fraudulently altering currency. So if you were to take a penny and make it look like a dime and try and spend it, that would be against the law. How's it going, coin man? Yeah, we got 3,500 likes. That's what's up. So we got that nice and smoothed out there. Now we're going to go ahead and heat this up, hit it with some fire. That's going to soften up the metal and make it easier to fold and shape. How's it going, Craig? Now, I do need to go grab my needle nose pliers there in another room. So, uh, while I go do that, y'all check out the website. I will be right back. Take me about 45 seconds. I'll be right back. I'm back, I'm back. So, we got our pliers here. And we're going to go ahead and hit this with some fire. That's what's up, man. I'm glad you like it. It kind of blows my mind when I stop and think about how many people are wearing my rings at the same time. It's, it's pretty cool. And I mean, I wear them. <laughs> I like them, so I'm glad you guys do, too. I need to add a little more water to that. That's getting shallow. I'll dry this off real quick, and we'll start folding it. <laughs> I've been wearing this Morgan lately. I really like it. Get our Doman block set up here. And again, I'm sorry if there's a connectivity problem. My internet has just been super bad lately. Just bear with me. We'll take a good look at this coin before we keep moving forward. It's a pretty cool design. Mine was made from a clad Tennessee quarter. Very nice. You don't like the bulky ones, prefer the thinner ones. I don't know, I go back and forth on it. I can wear either one. I like both, chunky and thin. But there's something about the Morgan dollar. Like it's just, it's so classy. I really like it. Uh, you can see my prices by tapping the gold chain down here by the chat or the link on my profile. That's a good thing I make both, especially with these uh, Aztec rounds. I've got them in one ounce, half ounce, and quarter ounce. So you can get a really nice thin band, or you can get a real chunky one. Uh, like I said, the prices are all on uh, my website. So 
this one in particular is a uh, half ounce round. And they're 150. Sure thing, man. Got a good fold on it. And there's just a little, little bit of silver hanging off of there. So I'm going to deburr this again real quick. Yeah, we got 4,000 likes. Thank you, guys. up that inside a little bit there with the deburring tool. I'm going to go ahead and fold this a little bit more. Have I ever had them accidentally break while working on them? Yeah. So this is what usually happens. The ring will snap uh, when I'm stretching it. And that usually happens because this cut edge isn't as smooth as it should be, or I haven't annealed, like heated up and softened the metal enough. So I really try to take my time, and I keep all my mistakes as a reminder to slow down and pay attention. So that's an example of one. And uh, if you guys haven't followed me yet, go ahead and tap that follow button. If you're interested in getting a ring from me, there's a website link on my profile. And a gold chain down by the chat that you can tap on that will pull up some of my products. Uh, everything I make is handmade here in the United States. And it's mostly made out of coins, which is pretty cool. Lots of stuff to choose from. Quarters, half dollars, dollars. Uh, different kinds of silver rounds like this one here. Lots of stuff. Little cowboy hats too. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. What we're doing here is just continuing to fold this round out. Get it into a nice cone shape. Yeah, it definitely takes patience. And quite a bit of practice. I've been doing this for about three years. And the first year was, was really touch and go. There's a lot of stuff I had to learn to get this to come out uh, any good. But I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Now we're going to take this back over here. And again, we're going to address the cut edge. We're going to sand that down, make sure it's nice and smooth so we don't split it. This one's going to be a seven and a half. That's, that's pretty small for a half ounce round. So I don't think we'll even have to stretch it out. I'm going to check the size of this here in a second. Let's see what we're sitting at. We might just jump right into reducing it. Six thousand likes. Thank you guys for tapping. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. This is coming along very nicely. Got that nice and smooth. Get our mandrel here, and yeah, we're sitting at like a size nine. We're gonna need to get it up to like a seven and a half. So we're gonna. Anneal it one more time and just start making it smaller. Yep, time for a Swedish wrap. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I'm just looking for this flame to turn kind of an orange color. You can see it here. Uh, 
definitely need to add some more water to that. It is shallow. Seven and a half is my ring size. I got small fingers. Hey man, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, why it's okay to destroy US coins. So, uh, I do have a blog post specifically about that, co written with a lawyer on my website, coinringmaker.com. It's right up at the top. If you want to read that, it's a pretty good read. But basically, uh, the law specifically says you can't alter currency fraudulently. So that would be like taking a penny and making it appear to look like a dime, like deceiving somebody with your alteration and making it appear to look more valuable, um, which is not what I do. Uh, so I make jewelry. Uh, and there's, I mean, as long as it's like art or educational, it's, it's pretty, it's okay. Um, I don't know if you guys ever did that thing where you take the coating off a penny in like chemistry class But since that's for education, it's it's legal There's also penny smashing machines all over the country at museums and theme parks uh, where you put a penny in and like two quarters and It'll squish them and give you like a little design. I know they're at like SeaWorld and stuff like that so that's very similar to what I do legally. Uh, I've got a bunch of Troyon's coins. If I sent you one, would you make me one? Uh, if you'd like a custom coin ring, I have a button on my profile. Just tap right there. It says get a quote. Uh, if you can tell me uh, some information about the specific coin you'd like me to work on, uh, I can uh, get you a quote for how much that would cost. But I do need to know some information about the coin, uh, like what it's made of, what kind of coin it is, what year it was made, and the ring size you need. But from there, we should be able to get it, uh, get it going for you. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. I've been doing this hobby for about a year, just started practicing Swedish rap. I really like it. Uh, it's definitely made uh, reducing much larger coins or um, to make smaller ring sizes. It's, it's very handy. I wish there was an easier way to figure out like what size the ring was at as you're doing it, but that's really just kind of eyeballing or you can throw it on the mandrel as you go, I guess. But it's a great tool. It's really clever. I was lucky enough to get a whole bunch of Swedish wraps from somebody who quit the hobby. Where does a person go to look at your stock if you have any in the cost? Uh, I have a website linked on my profile coinringmaker.com or you can go to buycoinrings.com that'll take you right to my store you can also tap the gold chain down by the comments down here by the comments let's see what size we're at here uh, we're at a size nine so we definitely still have more reduction to do to get it down to a seven and a half I'm gonna throw a little more tape on it and keep on reducing it down good stress relief I think so it's like meditative but uh, creative at the same time it's a good it's a good little hobby I really enjoy it Now I've gone and made a whole business out of it, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to send this all the way to the bottom of this Swedish rock. And then we'll flip it 
it over and reduce the other side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Should be at least, I'm thinking like a size eight. I think it's gonna be a size eight here at the bottom. And you would think it would be the same, like sizing these, but with different size coins and stuff, it's it definitely varies. At like location of how far you have to reduce it to get a certain size. It's, it's different every time. Take this tape off, see how it's looking. I really like this monster tape, but it is a bit of a pain to get off of the ring. So here's how it's looking so far. Pretty good. It's right about size eight. Now it does have kind of a lumpiness to it. So it's narrow at the bottom, then it kind of curves, and then the top is a little wider than the bottom. So I'm actually gonna stretch this out just a little bit to kind of fix that shape. Thank you very much. And then we will reduce it again, and that should should straighten it out a little bit. But I also need to clean up a little lip on the inside of it. So I'm going to do that too before I reduce it again. This blue paper towel here is just to protect the inside detail of the coin. Make sure it stays nice and sharp. I don't want to have a lot of metal on metal contact. That's how you mess up your details. Let's see here. We stretch that out to almost a size 10. I'm going to stretch it just a little bit more. definitely feel it work hardening too so we're gonna have to kneel it as well what is the most amount i've made in a day i've probably made a thousand dollars in a day before christmas time gets really crazy I, I made quite a bit of money last uh december everybody wanted these for christmas gifts i suppose I don't know, the last two weeks I really haven't uh, made very many rings. This is the first sale I've had in probably two weeks. So this month has been really slow. Uh, probably the most rings I've made in a day would be uh, around like 10. What do I call that machine? This is called a deburring tool. What's going on, man? We are working on a half ounce Aztec round. Make it into a ring. It's coming along very nicely. Fix an order. Yeah, there's a link in my bio, or you can order through the gold chain down here by the chat. Yeah, 8,500 likes. Uh, Y'all tap that screen. Let's see if we can get to 9... 9K... If 
I didn't talk about it very much before I started doing this, but there's a little bit of a lip on a lot of coins. And as you fold it in, uh, it becomes pretty uncomfortable on the inside of the ring. So I like to cut that away and make it nice and smooth here. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, that should be good. All right, we're going to go ahead and anneal this again. Well, there's still a little bit. You have to kind of feel it. It's hard to see. It's, it's smooth right here, and then you rotate it, and there's just a little bit of lip left right there. Can you all see that? We're going to get rid of that. A little burry. Much better. All right. To the fire. Gonna do wholesale? Or are you talking to Philip? I don't know. Usually I do just one ring at a time. I've never really done a wholesale order, but if you're interested, we could we could probably work something out. Nice, nice. Uh, so what I recommend is visiting, visiting a jewelry store and getting size there. That way it'll be nice and accurate. Uh, if you don't have one nearby, uh, going to like a craft store. And they usually have like uh, keychain ring sizers. And you can just use one of those real quick and figure your size out. We're going to go ahead and send this all the way through this wrap here. It's already bottomed out. All right. What's the Teflon stuff? It's just Teflon tape. It's called Blue Monster. It's just a little stronger than the average white Teflon tape. It's called Blue Monster. It's really good stuff. And that helps protect the outside detail of the ring as we're pushing it through this uh, Swedish wrap here. I used to go through a whole lot of white tip on tape. And I really don't have to use a ton of this blue stuff. It's really it's pretty, pretty tough. so far. Got a little bit more reduction to do. It's sitting at about a size eight. 
we're gonna need to get it to a size seven and a half. Yeah, it's like plumber's tape. It's just fancy plumber's tape. Blue monster. How sturdy are the rings? I'm a correction officer and it might get knocked around. Uh, if you're worried about losing detail, I would recommend getting uh, like a 90% silver ring over a fine silver ring. I've got a couple different options when it comes to what type of metal your ring is made out of. And that's what I would recommend. So this is a Morgan dollar. It's 90% silver and it's just quite a bit tougher than a fine silver ring, which is what I'm working on right now. So we bottomed out on that one. We gotta find one that goes a little smaller. There we go. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. We're almost done with this one. So, <laughs> sorry, the view's not great. There we go. Uh, if you'd like to order a coin ring and see it made on this live, now's a good time to go check out the store. If I see an order come in before I finish this, we will work on that next. Still need to go a little bit smaller with it. And I prefer to make a lot of little changes opposed to going all in and then making the ring smaller than it needs to be. So we'll just go a little at a time on each side and check how far we've gone. This may be the smallest I've made one of these half ounce silver rounds. It looks like it. Usually these are made into larger rings than this. See how it comes out. Alright, so we'll take the tape off of here and check our sizing. Again, sorry for the dead air, this tape is tricky stuff. There we go, we got a nice little cute, little bitty ring. And that is sitting just over size seven and a half. So to get it the rest of the way there, I'm just gonna use a 17 degree die. If I can find one, there we go. And we're just gonna reduce that just a little bit. facing US currency. Uh, so the law that a lot of people direct me to specifically says fraudulently altering currency. 
So that would be like trying to deceive someone with your alteration, like taking a penny and making it look like a dime. And since I'm making jewelry and showing you how I do it, there's no deception here, there's no fraud. Uh, you're very clearly gonna get a coin ring from me. That's right, at seven and a half. And then what I'm gonna do is stretch out this side just a little bit with a ring straightening tool. Kind of get the lumpiness out of it. So it's a little lumpier than I, I want it to be. this little seat here and it's got a hole in the bottom yeah very similar to penny smashers at amusement parks then we're gonna take a spike that one's a little too small That should be good. And we're just gonna push the spike down, which is gonna widen out just this one side. That's gonna straighten out the wall. Altering it into jewelry is not another dollar amount like changing a penny into a dime. Yeah, yeah. So since this is like for art purposes, it's it's legal. I really like this tool, but there's a lot of kind of back and forth and swapping you have to do to use it. A lot of pieces. You'd be surprised how often I get asked that question. How is this not illegal? People just straight up tell me I'm breaking the law. But no, nah, it's, it's all good. Been doing this for three years strong. Had no legal issues at all, which is nice. There we go. Now we're just gonna polish and shine this up. Got it right at a seven and a half. Perfect. Let's clean it up. And uh, if anybody would like to uh, order a coin ring and see it made on this live, you can visit the link on my profile or the gold chain down by the chat. If I see an order come in, I will hop back on live and make it. But other than that, we are pretty much finished up here. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't followed me yet, go ahead and hit that follow button. Got 9,100 likes on this live.
it was a lot of fun and I do appreciate y'all hanging out and watching me work and being so polite hope to catch you next time where we'll be making coins into jewelry live on TikTok but for now we're gonna polish this thing up and get it nice and shiny. Fine silver is really nice. It polishes up really easily. 90% silver takes a bit more elbow grease and ingenuity. And it looks like we've got a 1964 half dollar ring. Uh, if you place that order and you're here, let me know, speak up. I use her polishing compound. So these are just uh, jewelry polishing wipes from Walmart. Uh, but I do have some rouge that I use for uh, coin rings that are a little more <laughs> dull, need a little more help polishing up. But most of the time, I just use these polishing cloths, and they work really well. Uh, can you tell me what size you got that ring? I don't want to have to exit out and go check it out. So if you can tell me here in the chat. How do you pay for this? You can uh, order through the website link on my profile or the gold chain down by the chat. Size 8. Alright man, I'm going to get started on that here in just a second. Thank you for your order. I do appreciate it. Got that thing nice and shiny. What do you guys think about that? And came out really good. So we will set that aside for now. And since this is fine silver, we're going to put that up. Because this Kennedy we're working on is going to be 90% silver. Now I really like these 64 Kennedys. Uh, before I get started, uh, can I ask you if you got the date on the outside of the ring? Got a nice 64 for you. So are you wanting the, the date on the outside, or um, do you want tail side out? Let me know. It's usually the date's on the outside. Didn't ask about the outside. Well, I'm asking right now. <laughs> Let me know what you prefer. Uh, so this is an example of one with the tails on the outside. There's all this uh, cool stars that go around. And Eagle's Talons. It says half dollar. And United States of America across the top. And then... This is an example of what it looks like with the date on the outside it says in god we trust and this nice arch over 64 and then liberty across the top so i'll need to check that out and add that as an option it should be on most of my ring um, listings so i'll have to fix that but yeah if you'll let me know which one you'd like thank you very much I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in it. But yeah, let me know which side you'd like on the outside of your ring. You want the inside facing out? You want the tails facing out? Okay. <laughs> inside. You got it. All right. Tell me which one you want on the outside of the ring. Do you want heads or tails? That's... that's <laughs>
our paper towel moved a little bit. Could make it a little smaller. What's going on? Date inside. Okay. Can do, can do. What? There's some tape in there. That's not good. All right. Date on the inside. Let's go. Size eight. <clears throat> Let's get her done. Woo! Y'all tap the screen. We're almost at 10,000 likes. There's our cool little eagle center punch. Kennedy's ear. I think the eagle's <laughs> a little cooler. Ten thousand likes. Let's go. There's our punched coin. And we're just going to clean up the inside edge here with a deburring tool. And this is the kind of slow boring part. So if you guys want to check out the website or just take a look at some of my products, uh, the link's on my profile. Or you can tap the gold chain down by the comments. Just go check it out real quick. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. If you're enjoying the live, make sure to give me a follow and tap that screen. I really like these Kennedy half dollars. So I appreciate your order. It's going to be a nice ring. How do I get my coins? Uh, they're mostly from eBay or directly from the U.S. Mint. Got a little bit of silver flying out of my bowl. Yeah, we're going to save that bit there. There we go. All right, so now we're going to anneal our coin. That's going to soften up the silver and make it easier to fold in shape. Dry that off real quick. And now we're going to start folding it. Doing date on the inside, we're gonna put that facing up. Do I have any rare coins? Yeah, I have a whole bunch of rare coins that uh, <laughs> I make rings out of. I don't know, rare is kind of subjective.
nice and folded. And hop back over here. And sand up this cut edge. Make sure that's nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Here's our ring so far. For anyone who's just joined in, this is a 90% silver 1964 Kennedy half dollar that we're making into a coin ring for a customer right here on TikTok. If you'd like to get yourself a coin ring made by me and see it made on TikTok, go check out my store. I tap in the gold chain down by the comments or the link on my profile. structure here. I do like this blue monster tape a lot. When you get a new roll, it's a little tricky to wrap around and keep it tight. <laughs> but as you use it, the roll gets smaller on the inside and it's easier to do. They're just a little too big. Where you been, coin dude? No, I have been like off TikTok for like two weeks. So you didn't miss nothing. I took a hiatus. I wasn't sure anybody noticed. But yeah, I took a little break.
ring really grabbed a hold. There we go. Uh, Kevin? Pro George Washington with drip. That's what's up. You got that right. So right now it's at a size 11, a little over. We're gonna get it down to a size eight. We're gonna use this Swedish wrap to get us there. But since we stretched and folded this quite a bit already, I'm gonna go ahead and re-anneal it before we start reducing it anymore. So if anybody's just joined in here, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. This is a 1964 Kennedy half dollar. It's 90% silver. And we're making it into a size eight ring. Uh, if you'd like to check out some more of the rings I make, you can see them on my website, which is linked on my profile. You can also tap this little gold uh, link or gold chain down by the chat down by the comments here and that'll pull up some of my products if you want to get a closer look at some of the stuff I make or want to get something made by me it's a great place to go so y'all check those out if you haven't yet go ahead and give me a follow and uh, if you're enjoying the live make sure to tap the screen Send me those likes, y'all. Sitting at 10,000 right now. 10,600. Hey, oh. Very nice. Has any questions feel free to ask Just rolling through the motions and making a half dollar into a ring which I think is pretty cool I hope you do too tape off of here, take a good look at it. Well, 
That's cool. Again, there is a little bit of lip on this edge here that I'm going to cut away. Is a Copper Kennedy half dollar thinner than a 90% Kennedy? No, they're the same. They're the same size. Doing the field test, make sure we got all that lip off of there. Looks good. All right, so we just got a little bit more sizing to do on it. We gotta go down one half size. Then we get to clean it up. enjoy making the rings, but making them shiny is just next level. So we got it all taped up again. Oh, somebody else got one. How much is my most expensive ring? Uh, it's $1,300. It's a quarter ounce gold American Eagle. Uh, Christopher, uh, Christopher, are you in here on the live? You just order one of these half dollars. If you're here, let me know. Speak up, buddy. Just honesty. All right. Um, what size and what side do you want facing out? I don't want to have to 
exit out of the live to go check your order. So if you can just tell me what ring size you got and whether you want heads or tails facing out, that'll make it a lot easier for me to get started on it here in a sec. Size 11, tails out, make it more rounded shape. I can try. Uh, usually I try to get it as straight walled as I can, but I can, I can try and put a little curve on it for you. Size eight. Perfect. Well, one side is. Uh, can you put a curve on the ring? Yeah. So one side is just a little. Bought mine from another source and it looks okay, but not like yours. Well, man, everybody does this a little differently. That's one thing I really like about coin ring making is even if you have the same tools, similar process, you can end up with very different rings. Looks good, huh? Clean this up just a little bit, and then we'll get started on this, guys. How do I put a curve on it? So, um, let's see here. So, different degree dies have different effects. So, the Swedish wrap dies uh, have about a, maybe a two to four degree change. And the dies I usually use are a 17 degree. And that keeps a, a more straight walled effect. But there are dies that are 25 degrees, and they're a lot quicker at how they push, and that uh, causes more of a curved effect. I don't use them too much, unless somebody specifically asks for it. I like the 17 degree die, I like the, the straight walled look. We're just going to clean this up here with a little bit of steel wool that's going to get that fire scale off the surface. And we're and shiny. We'll get a jewelry polishing cloth just to finish that up. <laughs> uh, one of them just turned three yesterday. And the other one is eight. Wild boys. Yeah, that's one reason I kind of took a break. I spent like two weeks just hanging out with my kids. And summer only lasts so long. And they'll be going back to school before you know it. So I took a little break from this. To be a dad. Very, very nice. All right. 
right, I'm gonna set this one aside and get started on the next one. So these are um, 150, the 90% silver ones, and the copper clad ones are 80. I'm not sure. The prices are on my website. Where did I get the ring on my thumb? I got this from Knott's Berry Farms. Uh, like when I was in high school. Just a guy who was selling silver rings at the theme park that day. And I saw it. I really liked it. And I've been wearing it ever since. Had it a long time. It's, it's all kinds of been out of shape and worn and weathered but I think it's dope I really like it Celtic Celtic knot that's what it's called yep it's coming up I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in this and get it started. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. If you'd like to get a coin ring made by me, there's a link on my profile or a gold chain down here by the chat. Just tap on that. It'll pull up some of my products. There is our Cool little eagle center punch. There's our coin. He said tail side out size 11, right? Order to center punch two, awesome. I will set that aside and, and get that done for you. Now we got that inside nice and smoothed out. We're gonna go ahead and anneal this and start folding. Now I got a whole bunch of these 64 half dollars. I thought this would be a really popular ring. This is honestly the most I've sold of them like in one day. So it's a good day right here. Glad I trusted my instincts. It took a while to pay off, but thank you guys for uh, for ordering. So I do repost my lives on uh, YouTube. That may be a little easier to find. Uh, my YouTube channel is just called Coin Ring Maker, and within like a week of recording here on TikTok, I'll repost them on there. So you can go back and watch it uh, whenever you like. Dropping stuff. All right. Now we're going to start folding this.
Where am I from? Texas. I've lived in Texas my whole life. It's a pretty cool place. I'm up in the panhandle. I grew up in Dallas, but now I live up up at the tippy top. sand this cut edge make sure that stays nice and smooth I'll kneel it again and stretch it out a bit nice yeah I've had a lot of customers here from Texas it's pretty cool That's nice and shiny. We'll do a little more just to be safe. Oh, I went to school and didn't for a little bit. Went to UNT. I like Denton. There's trees in Denton. It's a nice town. It's cool, man. some good times in Titan. Oh, from the Netherlands. <laughs> well, welcome. That's where your son's going to school? It's a good school. I liked it. A little pricey. Stretch it out a bit on the ring stretcher. It's a new paper towel. Help protect the detail on our coin. Keep it looking nice and sharp. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> no shame.
definitely not the tidiest fella. I'll, I'll admit it. Second coin ring. Uh, this will be the third one on this live. These are the first two we made. We did this Aztec fine silver round first, and then this 64 uh, Kennedy half dollar, and now we're doing another 64. Yeah, this. Get real close here for you, get a good look at it. It's very shiny. And then here is the half dollar. And my camera don't want to zoom in on it, dang. Yeah, size seven looks pretty good. Well, this is a seven and a half, but yeah, looks good. Uh, you can see my prices by tapping the gold chain down here by the chat or the link on my profile. I offer quite a different, uh, quite a, a few different types of coin rings, so the prices range based on the size of the coin and what kind of metal it's made out of. There's a whole bunch to choose from. Yeah, they're for sale. You can order through uh, my website. It's the link in my profile or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen here. Yeah, if you order right now, I can work on it for you. There is the one we're working on right now. Oh, I got you, I got you, yeah. I do have to stretch this one out again. And then reduce it to get that curve. Cut right through my paper towel. I also have to get rid of that inside bolt too. So yeah, we're just going to cut away this inside lip right here because it's really uncomfortable. And then we'll curve that outside. It's just a lot easier to remove this if the ring is straight walled.
much better. Now we got it nice and smooth. And just for you, sir, we're going to break out the 25 degree die. So let's see how, how round we can get it. from a size 11. So we should be able to close that up. That's good like that. You like that? A little bit of curve on there. I'll go ahead and clean off this fire scale and get it shiny. And this is just a really fine steel wool. It's like four zero steel wool. And it's really good at removing the fire scale without scratching up the surface. So I'll get all that fire scale off of there and then polish it up. Should be good to go. Thank you very much. Thank you for your order. And thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. Always appreciate the support. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following, thanks for commenting, thanks for ordering, thanks for being awesome people. I do appreciate it. You guys let me do what I love, and there ain't nothing better than that. Can't beat it. Yeah, that looks really good. just joined in i'm coin ring maker i make coins into rings this is a 1965 90 percent silver kennedy half dollar we just finished and i think it's pretty cool no morgans today i'm wearing a morgan though yeah thanks for watching it's a great looking ring little curve on it looks good it's very attractive well 
You all go check out the website. The link is on my profile. You can also tap the gold chain down by the chat. Check out the stuff I make. If you place an order, I'll hop back on this live and make it for you. If we don't have any orders coming in the next few minutes, I am going to hop off of here, finish these up, and mail them out. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Go ahead and just show off today's work. Got two Kennedy, 64 half dollars, and an Aztec half ounce round. Super shiny very pretty rings can I bling the center punch what do you mean I've got the center punch here do you want to put it on like a necklace I can do that thank you very much yeah these came out good Oh, make it shiny. I mean, it's already pretty shiny. But I, I can polish it up a little for you. We'll do that little, little rub down. It doesn't take a whole lot to shine up silver like this. Ready? All right, guys. I'm gonna hop off of here. Uh, thanks for watching. Go check out my last video where you can see a popsicle freeze in real time. And uh, I hope y'all all have a great day. We'll catch you next time. Bye.